Welcome to Roby Tech. My name is Justin Roby. I'm the host of the show. Okay, so here we go. Let's talk about the parts. So it's got a Ryzen 9 3900 XT in it. This is the Pro Workstation X570 ACE. So we're gonna look at this. This is a workstation level motherboard. So that's why it's $322. For RAM, we're gonna be using uh, Crucial Ballistics, which I always like. It's a 3200 kit. Uh, and then for our NVMe SSD, uh, we're gonna be using the XPG Gamex non-RGB version of their one terabyte. We're also using a new AIO on today's show, which I haven't used before. And this is the Fractal uh, Celsius S24 Dynamic. I know a lot of people actually really like um, these AIOs. I, I have yet to actually open this. Um, I've had this sitting here and I haven't used it in a build. So I figured if I have a case that really is about showcasing the uh, GPU, let's, why not use the 3090 freaking FE um, and uh, actually basically throw a 3090 in there. So we're gonna use the, uh, we're gonna uh, use the um, 3090 FE. Uh, we're gonna be using the Seasonic Focus um, 1000 watt. I love Seasonic. So who's ready to do some building? This is the Asus Pro Workstation. Let's get our, CPU, putting that in like that, and there we go, installed. It always feels like anticlimactic when I finally put it in. You're like, oh, it's in. Just so little to it. Little slot in the PCB right here. Just wanna pop it in just like so, and then uh, give it a nice little push. Okay, so here we go right here. Let's go and grab our M.2 drive. Thank you, XBG, for providing this. Look at this fancy, it's so fancy. And it's got carbon fiber. I thought it would look good with the match here. So we're gonna see this little slot in the PCB like that. We're just gonna pop it in like so. Did you hear me? I said, pop it in, pop it in. Are you watching? Are you watching? Just like this, okay, just like that. Pop it in, goes down. Oh, that looks cool. I like the way that looks. Here is our case. Ugh. This is the Aza 808 cast. It's got this cool, like you can flip up and it, it, this is like strong. So it's like you can leave it up. So if you want to just kind of show off the system, you can. First thing I got to do is take this off. Okay, there we go. So we got that off. So we're going to put this down like this, open it up. So I'm going to unscrew these. There we go. And there's a total of five of them. And then this comes out. Ugh. So that's, this is our build right here. It's all in this like shell. You don't have to do anything wacky. Okay, so I'm gonna try and run this down. I don't like how this cabling is gonna work, but that's kind of what we get here. Little details like this can matter. So now let's get our AIO mounted. Uh, on the end, I don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah, you can see there's actually a fan hub here. So all your fans and stuff actually plug into the end here. And then this one goes right there. Boom. This is not light, just saying. Now we're gonna mount this really high up. Main reason being is we wanna make sure that the pump is below the top of the radiator. That is important. Okay, so there's that. There's one fan we're gonna do right there. That's a pretty cool, I like that mounting mechanism a lot. Okay, AIO is installed and actually completely hooked up, which is super weird at this point in time in the build. What we're gonna do now is hook up all our front panels. Front panel is gonna go right here. And then we have a single USB three. Okay, uh, over here, USB three, there we go. We have a single fan header to run up here. HD audio is gonna go right here. First, so we have power switch and power plus and minus, and that's it. There we go. 
just quickly take a look at the back and run our little bit of cable management and then we'll get to the next part. Okay, let's figure out our GPU now. GPU time. Look at that thing, dude. Look at that. I mean, it's just so big. Oh, I don't know. Well, well again, we'll, we'll see here in a minute, actually. The, f the tubes are not hitting the fans. Okay, it goes right there. And if we run the tubes behind, it actually is okay. There it is. It does fit. We'll run the two cable extensions off of the back and down. That should look pretty good. Well, let's run our cable extensions real quick, and then we'll do that. Okay. There we go. Okay, so nice and clean in the back. And then I'll show you the front so you can see what I'm doing. And the only thing that you'll see is this right here. You won't see anything else. So we're just keeping it up. And then all of our cables look like they're kind of bunched right here. Um, so yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install our PSU, which goes right here in the shroud. Now, one thing that is different is the PSU does go fan up in this case because there's no airflow on the bottom. So the CPU, the PSU does go fan up in this case. So it's a little bit different than what you're used to. Okay, so first one we have is our CPU, which goes right here. We have two VGA, one, there we go. Our 24 pin ATX power, which goes right here. Okay, CPU cable, there we go. We have two separate of these. Come on, baby, there we go. Okay, there we go. This actually ended up coming out super clean. Let's get the uh, rest of this put together. Ooh, hefty, Ugh. there we go. Now let's grab our actual case. Okay, build is done. Now we're gonna grab our front. Flip it on, right there. Well, we have now done two builds in the Azacast 808. And what I can honestly say is this is such a cool and unique case. And if you are into cool and unique cases, then this is a great case uh, to actually just do something different. There's a couple things. One, you can't top mount an AIO, so you're gonna be front mounting. Uh, the room to do things is a little bit tricky. Remember, you have to take this entire frame out and put it back in. Uh, when you do the builds. And again, that means you have to pay attention to some things. So this is not uh, a great first time build case. Overall though, it is a looker and it is unique. And again, it is either gonna be divisive in terms of whether you built, like whether you like it or you don't. 
Closing thoughts, it's 200 bucks. It's expensive given what it is and uh, the quality of the overall build. Um, if you're into it and you want to build in it, then it's worth, uh, it's worth the money. Hope that was helpful. I'd love to know all of your thoughts on this case uh, down below because you can check out both of our versions of this. You're, you're seeing here an actual full RGB one and then the build that we just did was a blackout one. So let me know down in the comments which version you prefer. And while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time a new video goes live right here on Robitech. And also, make sure you check out our live show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Guys, also check us out on all the socials. We are especially hip on the TikTok, having a lot of fun there. Also, great photos of awesome PCs on Instagram. Outside of that, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm super excited to see you on the next one.